hello to my Monday Motivators fan club. I am going to take you on the big life journey over the next five months. I'm not sure if you're aware, but I wrote a new book called Give Yourself Permission to Live a Big Life. This is a memoir type book and it is a book of inspiration, courage, risk taking, overcoming obstacles, and red lipstick. At the core, the foundation of living a big life are the five pillars, career, family, financial, spiritual, and wellness. I have a problem when people talk about work-life balance because work and your personal life are never going to be balanced. It's not humanly possible to balance everything. However, we should give equal attention to all five pillars over a period of time, over a year's time, let's say, and continue that process for the rest of our life. If you think about the five pillars, they are independent, they do stand alone, and need special attention. Yet, they are all interconnected, they are interwoven. Think about your career for a moment. Thinking about work. If you're having a hard time at work, if you don't like your job, if you've had a bad day, if you're struggling in any way with your career pillar, it's going to carry over to your family pillar. And it certainly can affect your wellness pillar. What about your family pillar? If things are going on at your household and life is crazy, then that certainly can affect your work pillar or the career pillar and again can affect your financial pillar and it can affect your wellness pillar as well as your spiritual. And think about your wellness pillar. If you don't feel good or you're not taking care of yourself or you're not at your optimum performance, then it's going to affect your career, it's going to affect your family pillar, your spiritual pillar, your financial pillar, because if you don't feel good and you can't go to work, then that affects your finances. Wellness is extremely important and it affects all the pillars. Let me tell you about our five month journey. I am going to write each weekly Monday motivator around one of the five pillars, but I've designated each month for a particular pillar. In April, I'm going to focus on the financial pillar. Being that it's tax season and we're probably going to be focused on money, I thought I would tackle that one first. But I'm not a financial guru, and I'm not a numbers person, and I'm not going to teach you how to set a budget. However, financial is important, and we have to pay attention to our finances because it does impact all the other pillars. In May, we're going to be into the heart of spring, and so I wanted to focus on the wellness pillar. This is also the month of Mother's Day, and I thought it would be a great time to focus on us and our well-being and feeling good and energy, creating uh, new sources of that energy, eating right, all of those good things that nourish our body so that we can be great for all the people we love in our lives. In June, the start of summer, I'm going to focus on our spiritual pillar. That is about looking deep within our own soul and thinking about who we really are, who we really want to be, what were we destined to be, and um, just taking a deep inner look at ourselves. In July, we're right in the heart of summer, and I want to focus on the family pillar. That is the month that typically we're having a lot of fun. Families are trying to get in their end of summer or midsummer vacations. And for me, I wanted you to know that family is also about good friends, your neighbors, your church. You maybe have your family members at church and even our pets. In August, we're getting to the end of summer and fall is just around the corner. So I'm going to focus on our career pillar in August as we get ready to buckle down for the fall season. So there you have it. That's our five month lineup. In between, I'm also going to share with you additional free resources and even hold some contests so maybe you can win some big life prizes. If you would like more information on big life and the five pillars, please visit JoanBurgeBigLife.com. Thank you and be sure to read your weekly Monday motivators.